Hi, this is Susan Bassey, and I just wanted to show you my screen on my computer. I am a journalist and a publisher and a literary agent, and this is on all of my de devices. I do not consent to the search of this device. It's subject to the California Shield laws. I want to give you a warning in advance of showing you this video. My editing skills aren't quite down yet, so I got to go with this. By publishing this video, I'm going to waive my Fifth Amendment rights. And I'm going to explain that to each of you. This last week, the Santa Clara County District Attorney opened an investigation into the local sheriff. And typically, we would celebrate this. We would celebrate an investigation into police officers. But I know why the district attorney opened this investigation. And so I'm waiving my Fifth Amendment rights in order to help. And I need all of your help as well. You see, the Fifth Amendment and the First Amendment rights are very similar. They give you the choice to decide if you're going to speak up and exercise the right to do so or if you're going to remain silent and exercise the right to do so. And I thought about this long and hard. And I'm going to do the biggest First and Fifth Amendment audit ever. And I believe in all of you to help me do it. This is the video screen of the day that my hand was broken. The first bone in my body was ever broken. And I'm going to walk you through this. This is me back here, and this is Officer Gomez. He's the one that broke my hand. And in a minute, you're going to see police officers surrounding this man who is taking video and photos of this computer screen. This is Jack Solario. He's a very bad cop. He's mean. He's nasty. He's engaged in dishonesty. I'm back here trying to film what I believe to be misconduct. I turn on my phone and you can see it's in my hand and I'm turning on my phone. The video for this is already online. Officer Gomez asks me three times. I tell him I'm doing my job and then he decides that's not enough. He pushes me, he shoves my things out of my hand and he steals my phone. He has now illegally searched and seized my phone. If you watch Officer Gomez, as this event is unwinding, this is a man who was taking a photograph in a public court file room in a brand new courthouse that cost $283 million. There are no less than seven police officers in this court file room because of a photograph of public court files on computer screens that now require 50 cents a page to get when you used to be able to scan them for free. Watch Officer Gomez's hand with my phone. He's already broken my finger, but it is causing me such great emotional distress that he has my phone. It has my sources on it, it has my information on it, and he has seized it. He is withholding my property. He is causing me stress. He is intervening with my business. Now, Watch what he does. This is going on in the room. There are more police officers. This is the police officer that once ordered me to stand for a judge. When I told him that wasn't the law and I didn't respect the judge, he came back and apologized and told me it was just a custom. He was never nice to me after that. The judge I wouldn't stand for was a judge, James Towery. He sold my houses. He sanctioned me $500,000. He removed me from my business. He took my children from my home and he gave all my money to my husband's divorce attorney. Here's my phone in Officer Gomez's hand. He has literally turned it on by searching it. This is causing me extreme anxiety. My sources, my research, five years of research and interviews and recordings are on that phone. Officer Gomez is withholding it from me like a parent trying to punish a child. This is all because this one man took a photograph. They're allowing him to use his phone and he's pushing back. We're now up to seven police officers between this area and the hallway going into the court file room. This lady never budges. 
She's reviewing court files. This man never budges. The other man who was sitting here got up and left. He is recording in the hallway, and I see him doing that, and I try to get his name. Officer Gomez continues to go through my phone. He's explaining why he's having it. I'm explaining that they all have my phone, and it doesn't stop. You can look at the recorded version and the sound on this that is mostly in Officer Gomez's pocket. But Officer Gomez just broke the first bone in my body after over 50 years. He violated me. He broke my trust. Here he is now, going through my phone. He's literally turning it on and searching my phone, looking at my photographs. I don't even know what he ever saw. This is, get, look at him. He's continuing to do it. He's searching my phone. He has no warrant, no authorization, no justification to do this. This is going on all over my phone. Journalists are entitled to maintain California shield laws and privacy protections for unpublished journalistic work. It is a crime to do what Officer Gomez is doing. This goes on for a long time. I have more video, but you can see how much stress this is causing me. I want my phone and they've broken my hand and that is the least of my concern. After seven years in this family courthouse and being traumatized but all, by all that was done to me, this was one of the worst things. This was a violation of my trust. This is why I believe people go out and film the police. This is why I believe people are so angry. This is why I believe Black Lives Matters is going viral and people are angry because of the broken trust. These were officers guarding a courthouse. They broke my hand, they seized my phone, they searched my phone, and they will still not recognize what they did. This went on for several hours, the paramedics came, and I have more video that I can go over with you. I would like to do one of the largest First and Fifth Amendment audits ever, and I'm trusting each of you to help me do that. That means we start explaining this to the public. I need you, the storytellers of the future, to help me do that. Police misconduct is excessive force, illegal search and seizure, dishonesty, and abuse. We see this every day with police officers. When we report it to internal affairs, there is no civilian oversight. It is police officers governing police officers, and they rarely make a finding of misconduct. Officer Gomez was found to have done nothing wrong. I gave a two-hour interview at Internal Affairs following this incident. A year later, they issued a report saying he had done nothing wrong. They did not say he did not follow his training when he seized my phone and broke my hand. He asked me three times to stop recording. No lawful order, no notice of an order, and I was in a place where I belonged and I had every right to film the police. He broke my hand and I have been being prosecuted for two years since that time. Officer Gomez was not charged. I was charged. Those are dirty cops. They all stood there. They incited it. It was like a gang rape. I know this happens to all of you all the time. And I'm here to say that I'm not backing down and I'm not being quiet. I am willing to waive my Fifth Amendment rights and go to jail to get this information out. The Santa Clara County District Attorney is prosecuting me for what you just saw in the room. When the District Attorney got the complaint on Officer Gomez, they did not prosecute. They prosecuted me instead. These police officers have been known to file false police reports. False police reports get District Attorney's convictions. Juries believe police officers because they don't know what's going on. The judges are the gatekeepers and they allow it to happen. They're like parents not parenting their children. So I'm asking you to help me. I'm asking you to help me get 100,000 subscribers. And I know that you guys can help me do this and make this video go viral. Because if this video is seen and everybody sees what police officers are doing in our courthouses, in court file rooms over a photograph, I believe the public will be outraged. I believe Jeff Rosen the Santa Clara County District Attorney who has prosecuted me for over two, nearly two years, is wrong. I believe he is the criminal. 
and I'm asking for your help. I'm betting on all of you. I know you guys can help me do this. I know we can get 100,000 subs onto this channel. And I know that we can make this video go to a million views by 9-16-2019. Because when this is in the court of public opinion, the courts fall in line and work the way they're supposed to work. You can email me for copyright use of this video. I will happily provide it to anybody who intends to educate and inform the public about what police are doing in our communities across the country. Anybody who helps me tell these stories will be permitted to live stream the results and if we win the bet, if we do the biggest first and fifth amendment audit in the history of our country, if we show what's really going on, I believe I'm going to win the bet and we're going to have the rule of law back in place. Police misconduct will be addressed and we will be able to prove that the court of public opinion is more powerful than any court of law. I want to leave you with this and I want to ask for your help. As part of our audit, I want you to look for clues. I ran across this video just the other day at Sacramento Family Court News. Please go to that channel and subscribe. This video, Retaliation for Free Speech and Protest in Silicon Valley, Judge Stuart Scott Abuse of Authority, only has 11,745 views. It was when I saw this brief second of Officer Winslow shaking this man's hand. This is the man who was in the court file room the day my hand was broken. It was when this happened that I realized that if we expose what has gone on, if we look at the clues, we can solve these problems. This is a copy of an, a part of the internal affairs in Santa Clara County investigation that, that I have opened into Officer Winslow. Officer Winslow is the one in this photograph. Please go to this channel and subscribe and increase the views on this video. I will help you learn how to file internal affairs complaints. We need a paper trail. We need these police officers held accountable and we can only do it if we start reporting them and also putting it in the court of public opinion. Next, I'm asking you to go to YouTube and type in the deposition of attorney Bradford Baugh. This is a deposition of an attorney that I obtained a lawful copy of. I paid for this video and I disseminated it. This needs more views. This is an attorney lying under oath. The Santa Clara County District Attorney was given information on several occasions. The State Bar had 15 complaints against this attorney and nothing was ever done. He collected millions of dollars. He separated families. He stole property. He acted under the color of law and nobody ever stopped him. And I'm asking you to help me stop him. The Santa Clara County District Attorney, Jeff Rosen, has targeted the sheriff. He has not done so for the right reasons. Jeff Rosen has left police who have lied in court, lied on police reports to put people in jail, killed people, used excessive force, violated their training, and Jeff Rosen has done nothing. And now he is going after the sheriff. And we all need to be suspicious of this and realize that Jeff Rosen has declared war on the court of public opinion. He is protecting police officers and he is trying to divert public attention. I'm asking you to help me. I'm asking you to subscribe and I'm asking you to help me get a million views on the video related to what happened in the court file room on that day in November 2017. I will put the full video up online. Feel free to use it. If you, if you send me an email related to wanting to post or edit this, I will send you a private link to the entire video. To use this video, please email me at gilroybassey at gmail.com. And don't forget, I know we can do this. I'm betting on all of you, and I'm betting on the court of public opinion, and that's why I'm waiving my Fifth Amendment rights to get this story told.
Hey guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell. See you later.